Hello, I'm back with Greg. That's right, we're doing another crayon video. In the last video, I got a few comments saying I should try out the twistable crayons. What is this? And I was walking through a store when I saw these. These are twistable crayons, but with an added bonus of silly scents. So I thought it'd be really fun before we started drawing with these crayons to actually sniff all 24 and see if I can guess what each scent is supposed to be. And uh, let's just get into it. So as you can see, they do have the flavors on the back, but I'm not going to look at them. I am just showing you guys what is on the back. And I am noticing that there seems to be no, um, oh my gosh, there's no, oh, oh God, I am being hit, absolutely bombarded by a variety of smells. So it seems like these are actually, uh, well, there's absolutely no color or scent labeling. So I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to know which one is what? But before I get to sniffing and swatching, I do want to see your guess on how many of these flavors I'm going to guess right because I'm pretty sure it's going to be like five. So the first person I see who guesses it right is going to get pinned. That's right. You're going to get pinned. Oh, that sounded bad. I'm just going to move on. Okay, starting off with pink. Oh, nostalgic. <laughs> hmm. Hi, welcome to Content Corner, where I just... I'm gonna go with bubblegum. Oh, that's cherry, I think? Or is that strawberry? Interesting, that's not what I expected that color to look like, but... Oh, no, this one's cherry! This one's 100% cherry! <laughs> okay, this one's going to be cherry. And I'm going to mark this one out and I'm going to put SB for strawberry. Am I going to have a colored nose? I keep rubbing these on my nose. This one's watermelon. I'm going to say this one's watermelon. I hope it is. Oh my God, that's cinnamon as hell. That smells like Christmas. That smells like when you walk into a store on November 1st and there's just like Christmas decorations everywhere. Oh, that smells so familiar. <laughs> I look so mad when I'm trying to decide what they are. I'm really not sure about this one, so I'm just gonna go with the vanilla and I'm really not confident in that. Oh, oh, wait a second. This one smells like potpourri. This one smells like you go into like a public bathroom and there's like, something plugged into the wall and they're trying to make it smell really good, but it just smells like a public bathroom. I'm just going to put like flowers, I guess. All right, yellow, what you got? Oh, lemon, pineapple. I'm gonna go with pineapple. It's like grass. God, it's so bright though. Why is it so bright? Construction? Concrete? Oh my God, this is literally a highlighter green. Who thought this was a good color? Oh, I hate it. Grandma? <laughs> this also smells potpourri-like, but in a very like grandma way. I'm just gonna get more specific and say roses. I have no idea. Oh, 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 what's that, what's that? Wait, no, this is watermelon. Shoot, what's the other one? No, it's kiwi. It reminds me of strawberry kiwi chapstick when I was a kid without the strawberry, just the kiwi. I'm gonna put kiwi. Oh, that's mint, definitely mint. Kind of actually reminds me of the dentist. Why does that smell like a man? Like, like a dad, like Axe body spray or something. It just smells like a guy that has smell. Like, not a bad smell, but too much of a good smell. So it's kind of a bad smell. Does that make sense? Is musk a smell in a children's art supply box? M man's musk? Oh, what is that? I'm gonna learn a lot about smells today. 
It almost reminds me of summer. Is laundry an option? Don't think that's it, but I don't, I don't know what else to put. So laundry it is. I, it doesn't really smell like anything, but I'm going to say blueberry because it's blue. Oh, this is familiar, but what is it? Grape. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. I need another hit. Okay, I'm going to make this one blueberry. Oh, this is getting tough. And I'm pretty sure this is not correct, but I'm gonna change this one to ocean. I can't imagine they would make that ocean flavored, but um. I was hit with a little bit of cinnamon, but then like a little something fruity. Okay, that smelled like a belly button for like a split second. I don't know. Um, Blackberry cobbler. No idea. Oh my God, I am just now picking up this purple and I can already smell it as grape. I mean, I guess that's grape with like a hint of bleach. Maybe I just got too, too big of a whiff. That's, oh my God. That smelled like a shoe store and it really brought back memories of going shopping for new shoes in like elementary and middle school. It just smells like that new shoe rubber smell. What the hell? I hope that's not great. Plum? I don't know, what's a plum smell like? I don't eat plums. Wait, no, lavender. I think I'm actually gonna put lavender down for this one. It kind of looks like lavender and I forgot I actually don't like lavender. So maybe that's why I think it smells like shoes. Another fruity smell, who's surprised? Not me. I, I have no confidence in this one. I'm just gonna say plum because I, I just, I don't know. Emergency, I just realized I didn't swatch this red despite it being flipped around somehow. Okay, stop, hold on. This is exactly why I wish they had labeled the colors because I accidentally skipped an orange one, not a red one. So I've swatched red twice. It's actually orange that goes between the cinnamon and vanilla that I forgot. So it's all messed up, but you know what? I still had fun, let's move on. This I'm gonna say is raspberry. I'm sorry, that's supposed to be a B. I'm going to say this one is strawberry. And sadly, this red has to go over here. I'm going to make this one the cherry. <laughs> Moving on to our, oh, our chalk. Oh, that's immediately like, I'm trying to be flavored chocolate smell and it smells like ass. I've got to be honest with you. I mean, it's also brown. What, what, other, what other flavor could it be? Again, it's black. What else could it be? Licorice. I do not like licorice. <laughs> I do not like it at all. Okay, what could gray be? Oh yeah, 100% coconut. And I'm very curious what white is going to smell like. Okay, that smells like a fresh laundry candle. Is clouds an option? Can I just put like fresh, fresh air? Isn't that like a candle? It's like sunny day. I think I'm just going to put outside. That was, well, I expected it to be hard, um, but let's see how right I am. Oh my God, beach? Beach? Did I get beach right? <gasps> Fresh air? <gasps> we have our pink, which, ah, uh, that's cotton candy. Gosh darn it, okay. Okay, this is balls. We have fruit punch in fruit smoothie. I'm sorry, you can't just mash a bunch of fruit together for two of the flavors, that's cheap. What the heck, the brown was actually root beer, not chocolate. That makes sense though, because I don't like root beer either, so no wonder I didn't like that smell. Oh my God, I cannot believe it. This, literally called flower, wow. Oh my God, okay, so the one that I thought was laundry, apparently that is actually pine. Oh, oh, the one that smelled like a man because men love going to the trees and cutting them down and camping and stuff. Look, I don't know what kind of popcorn you guys are eating, but um, I'll take your word for it. Cola, let me, let me try that again. Oh, 
Yeah, maybe maybe it's like a grape cola. Okay, I'm actually confused. Uh, there's like three blues here, but there's only two blues. I'm very, actually I'm very confused. My final score is, wow, um, I only got maybe 11 correct. So I didn't even get half of them right. Okay, this has been incredibly silly. I had a lot of fun smelling all of these crayons, guessing the flavors, swatching them, but now it's time to create some crayon art. So let's get into it. So obviously I'm going to be working a lot smaller today. My last crayon video was a 20 inch by 30 inch illustration. I'm just going to throw some very light and loose pencil in here just to get an idea down. Because I'm always drawing cats, I thought I would actually draw dogs today. Can you believe it? Drawing dogs. So I'm thinking we are going to start with a line of trees here at the front. I think it'd be silly to kind of line up the trees with each other like this. And I want to put some triangle trees that are closer here. We're gonna need some clouds. Let's make sure they're at least a little straight. I have a bad habit of drawing my clouds. Uh, very not straight, actually. Y'all, you know I want a freaking rainbow in this illustration. You know that. You knew it was gonna happen. And we gotta make this mythical, magical, oh gosh, how did I already get crayon? All right, let's see. We've got our dog. I want him to look scary and intimidating, but actually he's gonna be like super sweet and cute. He's gonna be a black, like a big black figure. Let's see, we gotta give him a little tongue coming out. That instantly means he's nice and cute. Okay, one last thing we need is a very teeny tiny little adventurer and we're gonna make it another dog because I think that would be silly to have a giant dog creature but also like a dog adventurer. Wait, does this dog, oh my god, how many layers are we gonna go? Does this dog also need like a little dog companion? They all look the same, oh my god, I love it. I love it, okay. And we're gonna get started. video I didn't really understand why you guys wanted me to try these crayons because they're they're just crayons but longer and twisty but when I swatched them I did notice a difference not only in texture of the crayon but also how it went down I noticed how they layered differently and at this very moment I am just now realizing it's probably the addition of whatever scent that goes into these crayons so I'm assuming it's probably some sort of powder or liquid that probably changed changes the formula of the crayon. That's obviously going to change the texture. It's going to change a lot of how these crayons feel. So the first thing I noticed was that they were a lot softer. They were smoother. They went down kind of buttery. And I don't think they were quite as dark and saturated as normal crayons. Sure, smelling them is silly, but I definitely would prioritize vibrancy and the way crayons feel. Just like my other crayon illustration, I started off with the sky and that's when I noticed the gradient in the way that these crayons layered on top of each other was so much different than normal crayons. They did not layer nearly as well as a normal crayon did and that definitely made this a little bit more challenging. I had to approach different parts of this illustration a little differently than I thought I was going to. You definitely had to sort of gradient down colors on the paper lightly to create a gradient whereas with normal crayons you can just smash them and layer them on top of each other over and over and they will blend well. So that was a little difficult, but I do appreciate a curveball here and there. Gotta, gotta keep me on my toes when creating art. And it's also just interesting to find out that there is a difference between crayons. I went to this thinking, okay, 
It's just another crayon, who cares? Nope, it is quite different. You can especially see how differently they blended when it came to the rainbow compared to the rainbow in my other illustration. Obviously, I really embraced and enjoyed the sort of streakiness, but also well-blendedness of normal crayons. These crayons, like I said, they're a little smoother, so they definitely go down a little flatter and with less texture, but that doesn't mean that they gradient any better, so the rainbow is definitely a little chunkier and less blended, but I think it still looks nice. It looks really really good between the red, orange, and yellow. Those went down really smooth, but the green, blue, and purple, not the best. Dang, I just remembered another detail about these crayons is that they don't really smudge because I said that they don't gradient well because when you layer them, they smudged a little bit with normal crayons. These crayons, you could scribble on top of another color and it barely smudged. So it was nice to know that they weren't going to smudge, but also you had to sacrifice gradienting together. So these crayons have their ups, they have their downs. The search for the perfect crayon continues. I except I'm, I don't actually have a search for the perfect crayon. I, I just said that for some reason. <laughs> Something else I noticed that was quite different was even though this was also a 24 pack of crayons, my other pack of crayons, also 24, the colors were quite different. I don't know if it's because the normal crayons are just more vibrant and they go down darker and more solid, but I definitely noticed the violets and purples in this pack were a little bit more pinky, a little bit more pastel and soft. The range of blues were also not nearly as dark as the other pack, which kind of disappointed me because when it came to line art, this piece. I try to avoid black because it dulls down really bright vivid illustrations like this, but there wasn't really a super dark color that I felt like I could use for line arting. On top of that, because these crayons didn't layer very well, I wasn't able to add an additional line art on top of what I had done because, well, it just wasn't going to layer well. So I blended my trees, I played around with texture, sort of changed how I worked because of how the materials were different. I think my favorite part about this illustration is the yellow grass and the brown that is just a simple shade, a simple line art to show texture in this grass. It's a very simple effect, but I just feel like it's so effective. So instead of line arting the whole piece, like I mentioned, I just did a few spots here and there that I felt like needed the separation. So I did the mountains in the background, a little bit on the triangular trees, and I just kind of left everything lineless. Oh, also being longer did not help with the hand cream. My hand was hurting immediately within minutes of working on this piece, but it was definitely more comfortable to hold a longer crayon and they never broke. So I can't appreciate that. Though, like I said, I do like the vibrancy and the way the other crayons work more. So it looks like the suffering is going to have to continue. So there it is, our unexpectedly different crayon illustration with silly scented twisting Crayola crayons. Oh, and I'm sure you're wondering, how does it smell? Let me tell you, when I did my blood illustration, that's like the most asked question. Uh, blood isn't stinky, so that illustration literally doesn't smell. And I also can't smell this piece either until I put my nose right on top of it. And let me tell you, that pine is the strongest smell. Smells like a man. But yeah, you can't smell it unless your nose is touching the paper, so it doesn't stink or anything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this video was a little bit more silly, but I had a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. But before I go, I wanna give a huge thank you to my patrons for all of their support. Thank you guys all so, so much. If you want early access to my videos, coloring pages and more, check out the link to my Patreon in the description. You guys are the best. Okay, stay golden, bye.